everybody, it's your crazy fangirl Shami. Hope you guys are having an amazing day, so we are going to be reacting to the fifth episode of The Last of Us, Endure and Survive. I am not looking forward to this episode because this is um, sort of, because obviously they're probably going to change it a lot, but the characters I'm very familiar with, Henry and Sam, they are two of my favourite characters from The Last of Us game. Um, I'm excited to see what happens, but also get ready for the waterworks because I'm not ready in case it does happen in this episode so uh, let's go let's jump straight into it I've had a few great episodes of Vox Machina but now it's time to have my heart broken so obviously remember to like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more tv shows movies and video games so without further ado let's jump straight into this Oh. Oh, I'm already in love with them. How? No one here has to die. You sure about that? Where is Henry? You're in Jesus. In form. Where is Henry? Where are they? He said he was meeting up with me with him. Okay. He had to hole up in the open city in case things went bad. Damn, he's giving info real quick. I feel like he's gonna get killed anyway. Everything I know. Of course you have. You're a rat. He's still in the city, okay? I want our people going door to door until we find him. We're really putting them on trial. We are not really putting them on trial. When you're done, burn the bodies. It's faster. Holy fuck! I know, I do love though this in this way that they're dealing with the hunters because it just makes them so real, and just I guess they're surviving. They're trying to survive, and they will do anything to survive. And just that's the same with Kathleen. She's a leader. She's doing what she can to survive, but also she's wants revenge and just perhaps she'll get it who knows we shall see oh oh bless oh i love this <laughs> no, yeah, hold on. My mother needs her shoe. No, no, no. Say hi! Hi! <laughs> bye, mother! Everyone say bye to mother. Even in the trailer, that scene alone of just him going for the hug, just... Oh. And he's so much younger than what he was in the game. Just... Kids are like... Just, it's heartbreaking. When it's involved in something like this. It's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they have made I think Henry's a lot softer than what he was in the actual game he was a lot harsher in the game obviously to survive but I don't know there's something so endearing about him just being so sweet on Sam oh is that when Joel and Ellie got attacked? yeah oh wow don't worry about what to say I don't want to hurt you the next step is with someone like this. <laughs> I lower my gun. That's right. Oh God, Joel. It's a weird fucking tone, man. That's just the way he sounds. He has an asshole voice. Joel, tell him he's okay. Everything is great. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> Aw, 
punch a hole. Jake. He's eight. Oh my god. Sums up. I'll show you one. You know, is there a case you fit to watch this? Salvages? Yeah, you were right. Like the torture and murder people. Jesus. You know what happens when you do that to people? I'm a collaborator. What does that mean? I don't work with rats. Yeah, you fucking do. Oh! Because I'm pointing an unloaded gun at you is the closest I've ever come to being violent. Oh, bless. Show the way. <laughs> Never heard that in a long time. Oh, bless. Yeah. Boom. Kansas City has a subway? No, but they do have maintenance towers. There's a bunch of buildings all put up by the same developers. Hangman on the other side of the houses. If we head down, pedestrian bridge over the river. Veteran guy that I worked with told me that it's clean, completely clean. But that's what they all say. All of it. When? Like three years ago. Ugh. Okay, maybe there's one. It's coming less of a case as the minute. It's only shot. In a way, yes. Whoa, my God. Two seconds. You don't know anything. I don't know, there could be more. Oh. <laughs> that was real quick. <laughs> For both of them, just like, no, not related. Whoa. Mm. Oh, that's so heartbreaking, and it's a kindergarten. No way! I love these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Joel can't resist the puppy eyes. Exactly. Telling the truth. You got my kid this morning. He was a man. Great man. He got sick. Leukemia. Of course. If I wanted some, I'd take some from B. The leader of the resistance movement in Kansas City. Oh, Kathleen's brother. The answer's easy. I am the bad guy because I did a bad guy thing. If you knew Joel, definitely not. But her father, but you were someone's. Oh, damn, what a scene. That was really, really nice.
did he get for that? Damn, dude. Just gonna stop it there for a second. Um, because... Holy shit, dude. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't... Oh, those two scenes with Joel and Henry and then with Kathleen and, um, Perry, I think that's his name? Um, as the character. But holy shit, like, two great scenes. They were really good. I really enjoy the fact that, um, we... Again, there's more humanity to the hunters and also just like to the resistance i guess we call them the hunters in the games but they're the resistance so i should say it that way but yeah it's just interesting to see it from this point of view because again it's that it's because i think i think the problem is with a lot of people even with the fandom of the last of us there's a lot of people who separate people in black and white but this story is not about good and bad this is about survival and survival is about doing what you can to survive and that means doing things that are bad um and just doing what you can to survive and just again the whole thing with like henry like now i understand kathleen's hatred because if someone went after my sister because my sister is basically that rock for me so if my sister died i would also just i would do anything i would be very very angry for a very long time um so i do understand now her hatred and also just the fact that I love that um, camaraderie that the Resistance have. Because, yes, the brother was the heart of the Resistance, but she's, like, the fight. Um, she's the one who, like, encourages them to fight for their freedom. But also just the fact that they will fight for her for to ensure that she gets revenge for what happened to her brother. Like, that's such a beautiful thing. And also horrifying, like, in a way. Like, it's beautiful, but also... Because if you were on their side, you would also be like, yes, let's fight, let's kill the people who killed the brother. But then, since we're on the other side with Henry and Sam, you're like, no, don't do that, because we understand why Sam did it. Oh, Henry, sorry. Henry did it. Because Henry did it to protect and also to save his brother's life. Just, we, we can see it from both sides. And even with Joel, like, he says, like, oh, you've probably done bad things too to protect, like, the people that you love. It's, again, it's that game of grey, just, like, all over. And I love that so much. Just because, again, I think a lot of people think, like, oh, yeah, this person's the hero, this person's bad or evil and da-da-da. No. People are doing what they can to protect the people that they love or to get revenge because of the people that they've lost. And... That is not good or bad. Because if you were on the other side, you would think the same thing and you would do the same thing. If you were on this side, you would do the same thing and do what you have to to survive. So I don't know. That's just such an interesting concept that they keep exploring. And I think, I don't know. I think it's more articulated in the in the show. Um, in the game it is, but I think it gets lost, I think, a little bit just because it is a game um, and you're in that one point of view. Last of Us Part 2 does it really well, but I won't spoil that. But... Again, it's just, I don't know, that's beautifully done. Let's continue, because otherwise I can I can stay on that forever. <laughs> My plan works. So much goddamn talking. <laughs> just saying, I deliver. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to Wyoming. Yeah, it's a huge state. It can fit two more people. No, I don't change his mind, trust me. He's like, no, LA, never, ever, ever happened. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the level from the game! I hate it. Think about. But if you go out there, he's gonna kill you. It's dark and he has shit aim, nobody's gonna kill me. Then he's gonna kill us. Do you trust me? Yeah, he's a pretty shit shot. <laughs> In the game, he wasn't. Everyone can attest to it. We all died like 50 times on this level. <laughs> Oh my god. <gasps> the fact that he asked him not to do it, my god. Joel. Oh, Ellie. 
Come on. Oh, get up, Ellie. Go! Him, dude, my god! Oh, he did. <laughs> oh, oh, Carly! Ew, it's a child! Oh, my god, get away from me! Oh, my god. Oh my god What a good song to end it. I need a freaking minute. I'll be right back. <laughs> Was so good. Over, like, 
honestly, like, I think for me, that was the best episode of the whole series so far. Because that not only included two of my favourite characters, but included a new favourite character, which surprisingly has to be Kathleen. Because, (laughs) again, this overall, like, the drama, the action, (laughs) fucking action, dude. Um, And then just just everything to do with it, the themes that they were talking about. Again, just that, like, it's almost like a, um, it's like a web and everything just, it all connects. And again, like the themes, like even with Kathleen, like I understood exactly what she was saying in the moment where she was like, you know, kids die and you know, da 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 da. But again, if you were on the receiving end with a kid, then you'd be like, yeah, nah, no bitch. Like in Henry's position, you'd be like, yeah, nah, that's my brother or that's like my kid or whatever. And then with her, if you were in her position, then you would say the exact same thing if you were in that context. And it's just, I love it so much. It was such a well-written episode. It was just chef's kiss. Just so good. And the performances from the actor who played Henry and Sam just so good and just that whole sequence at the end with Ellie and Sam and her oh Ellie I swear like I want to cry and just cradle this child and give her all the happiness and comic books that she wants and everything just I want to protect her with my life she is just so precious and again I say it every time Bella is Ellie you cannot change my mind on that she is Ellie again like I've said before the Phantom can be bloody toxic, but Melanie was perfection, and she is a omen for what is to come in this series. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And just, she, just, there's so many layers to her. And again, me and my friends were talking about this the other day. Just this character, I don't know, there's something about her that rang true for that, and just beautifully written, and she just, yeah, she wasn't, she, because people will be like, oh, she's evil, like she tried to kill Henry and blah, blah. No, she was doing something because her brother died and just, she was getting revenge. Simple as that. And just, I don't know, there's something, I don't know, poetic about it, but also beautifully written. And that's why I really appreciate the writing for Kathleen and just that character. It's just so good. The ending, like, they changed the ending, but it was so beautifully done. And just, Ellie broke my heart all over again and just... Oh, the actor who played Henry, just that last part where he was just like stuttering. Oh my God, my heart just broke. And then Joel, like, cause I feel like in a way, like, I don't know, it feels different. She feels like, and especially with Joel being, what he said, he was like, oh, kids have it easy. And then you see like Ellie, who was completely different at the end. She's like hardened a little bit, which is really poetic in a way, hardened. And she's, you know, already like emotionally stealing herself and saying, where's West? already moving along and Joel's sort of like taking it in still a little bit and you can tell that it I think it heavily affected him Henry and Sam's death um and just it's so heartbreaking as well just because they were so young and just then I have to stop otherwise I'm going to sit here and talk about it forever but thank you guys so much for watching this I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction please give a like subscribe comment and tell me your thoughts on episode five survive and or endure and survive my bad but god anyway i'm gonna leave it here because otherwise i'm just gonna sit here and just babble so thank you guys so much for watching this and i'll see you guys in the next video crazy fangirl out